Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how can we create the user defined exceptions in Python programming. So till now, we have seen a different exceptions and all these exceptions are the standard exceptions. So if that particular uh, exception is raised, we have seen how to handle the standard exceptions. Now we'll see how can we create our own exceptions and how can we handle it. Right. So let's start the interpreter and I will show you that. And we have discussed in the previous sessions that uh, every exception is a derived class from the exception class. That means all the standard exceptions are the derived from the exception class. Similarly, if you want to create the user defined exception, that exception should also be the derived class of exception class. See, for example, for example, if you are supposed to enter the marks for a student, we know that the marks of a student should be greater than 0 and less than 100. So the mark should not be less than 0 and greater than 100. So in such cases, the marks, if you give some uh, marks less than 0 or greater than 100, it will be accepted. But if you use the exception, so we can raise the exception if it uh, violates the condition. Right. So that, that that type of uh, situations, we can create our own uh, exceptions. See, first we need to create an exception, user defined exception, which is derived from the exception class. I will give the exception as invalid data. So invalid data is my exception. So which is derived from exception class because all the exceptions are the derived from exception class and simply you can give the empty body no problem so now just take the input for marks marks is equal to int of input give the request message enter marks for student right and now i will write down the try block and in the try block i will write a condition if marks less than zero or marks greater than 100 greater than 100 so we need to raise the exception what is the exception here raise invalid data invalid data and whenever it was raised simply use the accept block so accept invalid data and write down the here whatever the statements we need to uh, implement if the exception is raised, that should be done here. That instruction should be written here. So I'll write uh, uh, simply a marks should be in between 0 and 100, right? If the exception is raised, automatically this particular message will be displayed. Now I am executing this one. So enter the students for a marks. So I'll give 120. So automatically will that exception will be raised. That means the invalid data exception will be raised and the accept block will handle this invalid data so here we are writing the exceptions what to be ex executed if the exception is raised and before using this exception we need to derive this exception from the exception class right so if you are uh, raising any other exception invalid marks right and this invalid marks was not derived from the exception because we are not we have not written any class for this particular invalid marks so this will not give, I mean, this will not be handled by the accept block. If you give greater than 120, you can get here a name error because invalid marks is a name which is not defined because in our ex in our perception, invalid marks is an user defined exception, but interpreter will never treat it as a uh, user defined exception because it was not derived from the exception. Now, if you derive, the, derive it from the exception, uh, see, invalid marks, derived from the exception right now it can be handled right it can be handled so all the user defined exceptions or the standard exceptions should be derived from the exception class so that you have to remember and once it was done automatically that can be raised and that exception can be handled by the accept block right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, user defined exceptions, feel free to post your doubts in the uh, comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, 
share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much